If you have a TLS 350 EMC or some other variation of this tank monitor, you get a call that the store is not pumping fuel. If you have a system unrecoverable data error, if it is locked up and scrolling partway through, if the power is on, but the display is locked and nothing is happening, here is how you clear that. Open the left hand printer door. If the screws are in the tank monitor, which they should be, remove the two leftmost top and bottom T15 Torx screws. Once you have access to the tank monitor behind the printer door, you're going to see two blocks of dip switches. The first is a bank of four. The second is a single switch on its own block. This right hand switch is the battery switch. From here with power still on to the tank monitor, we're going to go ahead and flip that off. Remember power is still on to the tank monitor. We're going to take this white molly plug with the red or pink wires depending on the age of your tank monitor and disconnect it off of the left hand power board right here. With the battery switch still off, let this molly plug unplug for about 10 seconds. Once you're unplugged for 10 seconds, plug it back in and the tank monitor is going to reboot. You're going to go ahead and hit the red button to silence the alarm. From there you want to hit change, make that a yes, and hit enter. Do we want to restore our setup data? Yes. So hit step to continue, and it's going to remind us the battery is off. From here, back behind the printer door, So while that is restoring, we're going to go ahead and turn our battery back on, then walk away. It's going to take anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes for this tank monitor to reprogram itself from the, the stored backup that it holds internally. You'll know that it's done because the tank monitor is going to print out the entire setup for you that it has just restored. Depending on how many devices, how many sensors, probes, tanks you have at your store, it's going to take a while to print. When that prints off, go ahead and tear that off and put it behind the printer door. So after the tank monitor prints out the fresh setup that it has just restored, everything in your tank monitor is set except for the date and the time. So you're going to need to go in and program your date and times. in the system setup, let that as default, and from here hit change, and change your date and your time. Once you're done, hit enter, hit step to continue, and then go ahead and set your time, hit change again. AM or PM, hit the right arrow to get to PM if it's PM, and hit enter. Step to continue and save. Your, all your station headers, station headings are still there. So we're just going to go ahead and hit mode two times to get back to our main screen. And that's how you can restore a locked up 350 or EMC tank monitor.